Hey there, and welcome back to this series about sorting. Um, previously, we sorted the top speed, and I explained how you would use this uh, this algorithm for actually telling the program if I should return minus one, one, or zero for doing this. Uh, maybe you're wondering because we're using array list here. Could I do this on an array? And yeah, we can do this, of course, but uh, we need to we need to change a few statements. So let's just let's take an array here. So I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do a car, and let's just imagine we just call a car array. We can't interfere with the car, so we take a car, and let's just put it four in size. And let's do the main stuff here. Should be equal to C1 here. And we're just gonna copy this guy here. Boom. Four. And we like nice ordered code, so we just format it like this. Okay. And put our cars in just a basic array. Okay, this is not an array list, this is static. So it can't really resize in any effective way. We need to declare a new array if we want to put in extra cars here, okay. If we want to, let's imagine we wanted to sort these cars here in our array. Uh, we could use arrays sort, right? We can put in the car array. So this is kind of the same as we used we used the collection sort. We're just using arrays now. So we put in the array sort and if we if we get this copy of this code here so we can get an output. We just array sort. And and it's not called array, it's not called cars, it's just called car array. So how does this look? If we have an array, array sort, we can see it's in the top here, and it should sort it in the default way, and that was, if I remember, uh, it was on the model, I think. Let me just check with our compare to here. Yeah, it's on the model, so our sorting algorithm is actually using the, the default property right now. And that is the model. So we can see 308, 320, golf, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so can we apply the comparator that we used before? And we can also apply them. This is brilliant. We can take the, let's just take the top speed or whatever. I'm just gonna put them up here so that they have been defined, boom. We can take our by top speed, for instance. Bam. And let's run it, boom. Top speed, 207, 12, 15, 50. Okay, so that seems to work. And by brand, probably he's doing the same thing. Okay, by brand. Yeah, it works. All right, uh, so that's the same, the same structure of sorting something. We just type in array instead. Uh, so maybe you ask yourself, what if I want to reverse the list? If I want to actually get it in the or the other order, uh, descending or ascending, maybe. And we also have a way to do this. And the way we do that is we. There is a nice uh, function in collections class called reverse order. So this is going to reverse it. And if we just run the program, we can see that uh, this is the arrays. And now we don't have any comparator. Please notice that we don't have any comparator. So it's sorting on the default way again, the model. So the model is. Uh, being sorted in reverse order. We can see the numbers last now. Okay, so I don't know, maybe you ask yourself, can I put the 
compare it in there. And yeah, we can do that as well because the reverse order function will actually take a comparator. So we can use our uh, nicely created uh, lambda expression comparators and provide them as input. Uh, so we can take the top speed, for instance. So now we are reversing our order and sorting it by top speed. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, if we take a look at the top speed, 207, 12, 15, 50. Yeah, so this is in reverse order. And if you want to get the other way around, just simply remove the reverse order. Then it should be all right. Okay, and of course you can do this on the collections, uh, on the array list as well. All right, I think this uh, wraps it up pretty okay. We can always do more, of course. Um, yeah, have fun with this. Bye-bye.